Yes, sir. Holy. So today is long time coming. So if, you, if you're not in Canada or you're not in Ontario, um, Ontario, Canada has been on lockdown for like a month, um, which means I haven't been able to go to the gym. So I've been having to do at home workouts, um, which have been like, you know, annoying, but getting you by is obviously better than doing nothing so yeah like i said so today is my first day back doing legs so we're gonna we're gonna give you guys a nice little leg day workout leg day video um hopefully some of these exercises you guys know uh, maybe you're looking at the form and you're wondering okay where can i do better where can i um position myself better to make sure i'm lifting optimally um, but yeah, so today we're gonna do some a very, very deadly leg day. Very day, very deadly leg day. Like I'm, I'm kind of amped. I'm, I'm, I'm scared, but I'm amped at the same time. So yeah, if you guys like the content, um, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment if you guys want to see something else um, through the channel. This is gonna be the first episode of the fitness segment so i already posted a video um it was for our lifestyle investment um segment so we'll check that out um like share subscribe like i said but um this is going to be the first episode of our fitness of my fitness fitness journey um for me right now i'm trying to hit 200 pounds right now i'm sitting at about 187 186 teetering around there um i've been with myself in a couple of weeks so maybe i don't know if i'm more or less um, like I said, I haven't been lifting heavy because I haven't been in the gym. I've been lifting whatever I had at home, which is it's good enough weight, but not heavy. Pushing yourself weight. <sighs> Excuse me. But yeah. Um, hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys tap in. Um, and I hope you guys are getting back to the gym just like me. All right, guys. So here I'm in just in a little studio with my gym. Um, before you lift before you ever lift especially legs um but any any real lift if you're looking for longevity um you want to make sure you do some sort of stretch um get your get your muscles warmed up so i'm just going to run you through exactly what i do um all the stretches i do all the lifts or the yeah, all the stretches i do before i kind of lift um especially for leg day um and you guys can definitely follow along you can take these these uh stretches um you can figure out your own but uh just for me, based on me doing track for four and a half years through university and then also in high school, these are the stretches I felt like just work for me. Um, stretch the muscles that I usually need to stretch and they've prevented injury um, so far. So, like I said, thanks for, for looking in. I uh, hope you guys like the stretches. Any stretches you want to see, you think you that might help me also, um, definitely comment um, and let me know. Okay, guys, so these are my uh, initial stretches I do before leg day. So this stretch, you just want to make sure that leg you're stretching out there, that, that stretched leg, um, that's working your hamstrings, you're really bending down, getting a full stretch and you should feel it in your hamstrings. Um, that's going to help you for all movement when it comes to legs, squats, lunges, um, the, whole, the whole ordeal. Um, but like I said here, when you're doing this stretch, um, that leg's extended fully. Um, I always say well, between these stretches, you do some sort of jog just to kind of get yourself a bit more warmed up. Um, so the next stretch we have here um, is going to work on your hip flexors. Um, like I said, these, these, all these hip, all these stretches are working your, your range of motion whenever you're doing squats, lunges, um, deadlifts, all sorts of stretches. But this one, you want to make sure you're grabbing your knee, you're bringing it all the way up. Um, and you're holding it just for a quick second there. Um, but that's gonna also like I said, stretch those hip flexors out so you're getting that optimal range. And the next stretch we have here is stretch number three that I love to do. Um, we're just gonna bring each foot up to our hip area. Um, that also is a great way to stretch your hip flexors. Um, this is what I used to do before all my track meets or, or track practices to get those hip flexors loose like i said when you're when you're getting ready to run squat um and our four stretch here heel touches um so make sure you grab your your foot make sure you're balanced 
bend all the way down straight. I know it's kind of difficult at first. And make sure you're stretching those quads. This is definitely this is a quad stretch. If you can't do it and you can't keep balance, you can grab onto something like I did here with a bike. Um, and like I said, make sure you're keeping those legs straight and you're really stretching those quads out. Um, quad are a big thing when you're using, when you're running, you're doing squats, a lot of that lunges, a lot of various uh, exercises when it comes to legs. And one of my favorites here, just toe touches. Um, you wanna make sure when you're doing these, um, like I said, you're, you're jogging between each set. Um, this is gonna be working your hip flexors here, um, getting you pretty loose. Um, like I said, I like these. It actually helps a lot of your, your mobility. Um, so you keep doing these over time. You're gonna realize you can, you can you, your, your motion, your, your motion of your range of motion is gonna get a lot better. You can stretch a lot better. So one of my favorites. Okay, guys. So we have my favorite workout here when it comes to legs. It's traditional back squat. Great compound exercise. This is what you want to do if you want to get those gains and you want to build that muscle. Uh, this is working um, like glutes, hams, quads. Working the whole nine yard um, because I'm doing all the way down to the ground. I have my hands spread out that far just for my ba just for balancing purposes. Also, my feet are a little bit um, farther than shoulder width. Um, that's just my personal preference um, and for comfort comfortability. So do what you think is good for you and comfortable for you. Making sure your back staying straight, like I have it here. Um, I have my uh, weightlifting belt preventing injury and there you go guys okay guys so this is my next workout um this is really going to be attacking those hamstrings uh so with this this is what they call the uh, stiff leg deadlift or dumbbell deadlift um like i said you want to make sure your legs are stiff back straight you're bringing dumbbells all the way down um you're getting that full stretch in um, you're gonna really feel these after uh, the first couple times you do them. I know I still feel them. I've been doing them for weeks, um, but I hope you guys like them. Like I said, stiff leg, dumbbell, deadlift. Okay, so these are my quad killers. Really simple exercise. I'm doing four times six because I'm bulking. Just make sure you get those extensions good going. You see I'm shaking. It's gonna hurt a little bit because it's heavy, uh, but keep pushing through. Like I said, get a full extension and let's go. Okay, fit fam. So we're four exercises in. This is the hamstring hurt curls. You're probably fatigued. Your body's probably hurting a bit, but this is gonna give you a really good stretch. Work those hamstrings, but but wait till you see what's next. Um, so now we have our crazy stairmaster. Stairmaster, honestly, the stairmaster is crazy. It's gonna work all things: glutes, hams, calves. Um, and I do it for about 10 minutes. So if you want to do it for more, go ahead. But it's gonna be good. Okay, so all my hoopers, all my people that love to jump, that want to get that vertical bounce up, uh, we always we always just do these. So these are the cap crushers, cap raises. I just grab two 40 pound weights, two dumbbells. I'm gonna kind of go at it. I go until failure, failure in anything, bench press, squat, cap raises. That builds muscles, builds heart, um, and it builds strength. So let's go guys, like I said, we're almost at the end. I hope you're still with me. Okay guys, I'm so glad you guys are still with me. Um, salute to you guys, you guys are awesome. Forget to like, subscribe, share. But this is gonna be one of the last exercises I have on leg day. You guys are probably saying, "Oh my God, thank God, it's no more legs." Uh, but trust me, doing these, these doing this super set of dumbbells or uh, biceps, um, your legs are actually still shaking from all the calves and the, and the stairmaster, everything that you've been doing. But what I like to do, I like to do a super set three uh, bicep exercises, uh, ten reps. So I start off with a forty pounder, do ten reps of the forty pounds, get over to a twenty five pounder. I do 25 uh, reps um, simultaneously. I'm lifting both weights and then I'll go straight over to a 20 or 15 pounder. I think today I did a 20 pounder. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of a, a motion for my wrist, for my forearm, to get a little forearm growth there. Uh, but you got to really push through this one. You got to make sure the tracks you got going are bangers. Uh, but like I said, I hope you guys like this, this bicep workout. We got one last thing left. I know you guys are going to you know what type of time we're on. Summer bodies are up. Summer's coming up. We gotta get right. Abs, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. So, leg day was great. It was hard. Legs were shaking, but that's all. That's all a part of the game. It's all a part of you know, the process. Getting those goals. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go to bed. I got my protein shake. Um, I'll make a video on that. Um, I'll actually put a link in my, my TikTok in the description. Um, I get a quick video on how to how to how to make the protein shake that I make. Um, but I'll also make a video later on with the channel, um, just so you guys can see exactly how or what I drink after my workouts. Will recommend you should always eat 30 minutes, um, no more than 30 to 40 minutes um, after 
minutes with after your workout's done, you should have something you're consuming, um, whether it's um, peanuts, whether it's a snack, a granola bar, a shake, something. Make sure you're consuming some sort of um, some sort of um, food or whatever the case may be. Um, it just helps with muscle recovery and stuff like that. So like I said, um, that's it for episode one of the fitness segment, um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.